Hi everyone, happy Friday. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm really sorry, it's been a crazy week. I haven't posted and I have a couple of really exciting announcements, so don't skip ahead just yet. Um, number one, I am officially now on summer break. Yesterday was our last day of the school year, so exciting. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to bring more videos to you guys this summer. Second announcement, I am pairing up with Calibrated Chakras. Um, her and I are doing a free giveaway. Yes, free giveaway. And all you guys have to do, head over to my Instagram, Luna Goddess Intuition. All the details are there. Um, we will pick the winner June 12th. And the winner will get a free tear reading from myself and also a beautiful hand poured soy candle from Calibrated Chakras as well as a lavender sage smudge stick. Everything is handmade by her. They are meditated with, she is amazing. So go ahead and check that out, you guys, if you wanna enter. Also, um, if you guys are interested in a personal reading, follow my Etsy link below. I do have some reviews on there, so don't forget to check that out. And let's jump right in, you guys. So this was uh, voted on my community post, and this is going to be what is coming in your life just in general. And I did the next three months or so. But remember, timing is fluid with tarot, so it can happen a little bit earlier or a little bit later. So pile number one is going to be the Phosphorodite Mermaid Tarot deck. Pile two is the Blue Lace Agate or the Modern Witch Tarot deck, which I just found this deck. I lost it for a couple months and I just found it. <laughs> Super exciting. And pile three is the Demodery and the Light Sears Tarot deck. I mean, Crystal Visions Tarot deck. Sorry. <laughs> All right, guys, so go ahead and meditate, whichever one you are intuitively drawn to, and I'll see you guys at your pile. Tam Timestamps will be below. Hello, pile one. If you chose the Phosphorodite or the Mermaid Tarot deck, this is going to be your reading. So this is gonna take a look at what's coming in your life just in general in the next three months. And I have two cards to see kind of the overall focus. And I will also pull three tarot cards to start. So let's jump in, guys. We have, interesting, Wave of Power, card 42, reduced to a six. A surge of power, uprising in energy, exhilarating movement. Wow. That looks exciting already. And whoa, we have patience. Okay, <laughs> two opposite energies. So let's get some tarot and let's see what this is about. So Pal One Spirit, what is coming for them in the next three months, just in general? What do they need to know? What do they need to know? Let's get three cards. What's coming for Pal One Spirit? What do they need to know? What's coming in their life? Okay. Look at that. We have the Four of Wands. That's pretty. Okay. We have the Eight of Pentacles. Hmm, let's get one more. And we have the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, you know the first message that I'm getting for you guys, pal number one, yeah, and the page, wow, and the Ten of Pentacles. I'm gonna take those. So I think that if you guys chose this, there has been a very big emphasis on money or something in regards to career or home life. So the very first me message that I'm getting is that some of you guys have been wanting to buy a home um, with the Four of Wands here and the Eight of Pentacles. And I think you guys have been working very, very hard to maybe save money. Um, you guys have been very patient of trying to find a house 
And I see in the next three months for some of you that you might actually find the house of your dreams or you might come across money that you have been kind of wishing and hoping for to help you um, maybe with your down payment here because we have you know eight of pentacles ace of pentacles and also the ten of pentacles coming out so that to me feels like you know abundance is coming in for you know some of you that are asking about maybe buying a home here for others of you, I'm also getting an energy that there might be a new opportunity or a new career. If this is a business um, deal, if this is something that you've always wanted to accomplish in your work career life, I'm seeing that there is going to be some sort of um, forward movement in this um, career or business that you have been wanting that is going to provide more stability in regards to money is what I'm getting. So I'm getting a lot of information for pile number one about money. And I do feel like a lot of you guys have been just kind of waiting for this. You've been very patient. You've been patient in trying to save money, patient in trying to find the perfect house, trying to find a lender that will work with you or opening up this business and finally having that opportunity to do so because the ten of pentacles and the ace of pentacles is you know these two energies are about a new fresh start a brand new offer like the universe is handing you this coin and they are definitely supporting you and helping you out here and then we have the ten of pentacles which is you know breaking bread getting together family home life stability abundance prosperity you know, anything that you can think of in regards to money or being happy, there it is. So um, I'm definitely seeing for you guys, pal number one, that there is going to be forward movement in this aspect of your life, whether it's home, money, career, um, there's going to be, you know, a wave of power, forward exhilarating movement. And I almost feel like you're going to get so many offers from different places or people that it might be overwhelming because you're not going to know which one to choose from is what i'm hearing from spirit so let's get a couple more cards here that's exciting pal number one let's get a couple more cards what's coming for pal number one spirit just in general what else do they need to know ah there it is on the floor, the first card. Yes, look at that, you guys. More pentacles, six of pentacles. I'm hearing a return of all of your hard work. You know, all the hard work that you've been putting in with this patient card, um, whatever, however you have been putting them in this work, it is now returning back to you here with the six of pentacles. Something is going to equally give to you as you've been giving your energy to this situation this project money whatever this is let's go ahead and get one more card or two what's coming for pound number one spirit oh my gosh okay <laughs> okay hold on another one fell yes look at that another ace ace of wands you guys have something very exciting here you know, it says exhilarating movement, surge of power. I mean, look at that. Look at that Ace of Wands. You guys are going to be charging forth in a new um, direction here. This brand new journey, you guys are finally getting, um, you're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. That's what I'm hearing from this card here. Beautiful. We also have, oh, Wow, per look at this, three major arcanas. We have the moon, the world, and then you have the beautiful star. Oh my gosh, pal number one. I, I don't need to pull any more cards. This says it all. You guys have maybe been, yeah, almost like just in the dark about things, like unsure, unclear about um whatever this is about where your life is going will i ever buy a house will i ever find the money to help pay for a down payment 
will I ever get that loan to open up this business? Whatever it is, you know, here it is. You guys are going to get clarity. Things are going to be revealed to you because look at that. What goes around comes around with the world card. That's what I'm hearing. You guys have been putting in the work, the energy, and now that energy is coming back to you and new energy is coming in. And you have two aces, so new beginning. And then the beautiful star. So whatever you guys have been wishing for, I do feel like in the next three months, a new door is opening up for you. And this wish is going to finally come true for you. As cliche as that sounds, that's what I'm hearing from spirit. So I am going to stop right there, pal number one, because that was perfect, beautiful message. I hope this resonates, you guys. Let me know in the comments below. Give it a like, share, subscribe. Um, help me get to 2K. I'm almost there. I will be giving away a free tarot reading once I reach 2K. And don't forget to check out our free contest with Calibrated Chakras at my Instagram, Luna Goddess Intuition. Check it out, you guys. And I'm sending you guys lots of love and light. Take care, guys. Hello, pal two. If you chose the blue lace agate or my modern witch tarot deck, which I just found, I lost it for a couple months and I just found it yesterday. So I'm super excited. This is going to be your reading. All right, guys. So what is coming in your life in general the next three months? It can be anything. Let's take a look. I have these two cards. This will be the overall energies and then I will pull the tarot decks. All right, so let's jump in. All right, we have waiting. And we have telepathy, card number 30. Nonverbal communication, energies, pulses, mind reading. Interesting. Okay, let's get some tarot, because I'm picking up on something, but I wanna make sure. So let's go ahead, Spirit. What is coming for Pile? I also have this ugly Band-Aid on <laughs> my finger. <sighs> oh, I like cut myself, but anyways, let's go ahead, Pile 2. What's coming for them in general in the next three months? Let's go ahead, Pile 2. Ooh, look at that, you guys. Page of Cups. What's coming for Pal 2 in the next three months? Okay, did you see how that <laughs> came out? I'm going to take it. Ten of Swords. Yeah, look at that. Talking about waiting. And there it is, the hanged man. Let's get... Yeah, you know, this is definitely about, I think, like a relationship pile. And the strength card coming out for you guys. Okay. All right. So the first thing, there's a very clear message here that I'm getting. Um, so this is either going to resonate with you guys or not. So that's kind of the only message that I'm getting here. So if it doesn't, you could pick a different pile. But I feel like, again, there's a strong energy here that you guys have been waiting to hear from someone because we have the hanged man and we have the waiting card. And this to me talks about kind of at a standstill, nothing's happening, no movement, kind of being on your own, being solo, thinking a lot to yourself. And with this Ten of Swords, this one in particular, we have someone that is lying on the floor and she's looking at her phone like she's waiting for a message to come in. And I feel like this is you, you guys. You guys have been waiting for someone to reach out to you. This could be an ex-lover, a twin flame, um, because we have two people here. I'm just getting twin flame. Also, if you guys are waiting for if this is like a same-sex couple, that's a significant message as well for you. You don't have to be. Um, but with the Ten of Swords, yeah, and the Page of Cups, you guys have been waiting for someone to reach out, make some sort of communication, make sort of con some sort of contact with you. And I feel like you guys have been waiting for a long time here with the Ten of Swords. Um, so let's just, there it is. I was going to clarify it. It fell. Yeah, look at that. We have the Empress card coming out. 
Yeah, I'm hearing for a lot of you, you guys have been waiting for it because this is the Divine Feminine and we have Twin Flame. You guys have been maybe waiting for your other, you know, Twin Flame counterpart to reach out to you. If they're, I feel like you guys, that's what I'm getting. You guys have been in separation. If you guys know the Twin Flame journey, if you resonate with it, um, there's a separation period. And then sometimes, not all the time, the two Twin Flames realign with each other. You know, I do see realignment for some of you guys here that chose this. Um, so I'm feeling like, again, there's going to be communication from your divine feminine, whether you're male or female. It's just the energy, whoever possesses more of that divine feminine energy. And again, you guys have been waiting a long time for this. With the strength card, I think you guys have maybe persevered through the challenges that the twin flame journey kind of brings forth. Um, but I'm just getting strongly that someone is going to reach out here for you guys. There's going to be communication coming in for you. So let's get a couple more cards. So this is very specific. I'm not picking up on anything else. So again, if it doesn't resonate, pick another pal, guys. Let's go ahead and don't make it fit if it doesn't fit with you. Three. Let's get some more cards. What's coming for a pal two spirit in the next three months? Yes. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Talking about twin flames. Here it is with the four of wands. 1111. You guys might be seeing that number a lot or lately or just on your journey. I think that two people are coming into alignment here with each other. And we have the Eight of Swords. So I actually want to clarify the Eight of Swords. Okay, yeah, we have the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, you guys, I feel like, have been mentally feeling like you cannot move or just feeling very stuck with this dynamic that you have with your twin flame and i do feel like now there's going to be free flowing energy where the two of you again we have two twos all over two people here two people here two people there you guys get the gist <laughs> um there is an energy of two people coming together and being able to um give or just realign with each other that's the very strong message that i'm getting for pile two here um, for you guys, let's go ahead and let me see if I'm picking up on anything else. Yeah, we have a lot of feminines, like two feminines. Two feminines here. So definitely if your other counterpart is of the same sex, I feel like, you know, this is a pretty significant message for you guys. Again, it doesn't have to be. That's just what I'm seeing here. But, you know, I do see in the next three months for you guys, for Pal 2, that whatever communication that you've been waiting for, yeah, you guys are going to get some communication from this person. And it could be in regards to your twin flame. So pile number two, that was your reading. I hope it resonates, guys. Let me know in the comments below. Give it a like, share, subscribe. Help me get to 2,000 subscribers. I will be giving away another free tarot reading. Also, check out my free giveaway with Calibrated Chakras at my Instagram, Luna Goddess Intuition. Check that out. We are giving away a lot of free stuff in there, um, so you don't want to miss it. And if you are interested in a personal reading, follow my Etsy link below, guys. And I'm sending you lots of love and light. Take care. Hello, Pal3. If you chose the Dumaudery Crystal or the Crystal Visions Tarot deck, this is going to be your reading. So what is coming for you guys in general in the next three months? These are going to be the overall messages. I will also pull tarot cards and let's get started. Wow, we have card eight, fertility. Potential, powerful, creative energy, initiation energy. I love this card, by the way. There's just a lot of messages that come from this card. And beautiful, we have abundance. That is very exciting, guys. 
Let's get three tarot cards to start for pile three. What's coming for them in general in the next three months? Yes, I also have this ugly band-aid on my finger because I cut my finger, so I'm sorry. <laughs> it bugs me, but anyways, pile three. What's coming for pile three in the next three months, Spirit? What do they need to know? All right, beautiful. We have the nine of wands. What's coming for pile three? Let's get Okay, I'm gonna take this one. The Fool, beautiful. Let's get one more card. I'm hearing from Spirit with the Nine of Wands that you guys have persevered through the challenges with this situation um, is what I'm hearing with this card right away. Wow, we have the Three of Cups and we have the Three of Wands here. Very interesting. Yeah, I feel like... Okay, there's a couple messages here. For some of you, if you are hoping to get pregnant because we do have the fertility card and there's this woman holding, cradling this baby. Um, I do feel like you guys have maybe been trying to get pregnant here with the Nine of Wands. You've been maybe going to very many different doctors here. And I do feel like in the next couple months, there is going to be some sort of new um, path that you can take here with the Fool card and the Three of Wands. You know, I think there is going to be, and if you look at how synchronistic this is, we have a woman holding, it looks like a little, oh my God, that scared me. I thought that was a bug. <laughs> this is my microphone. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, guys, I jumped. <laughs> oh my gosh, sorry. Okay, <laughs> I thought it was a spider. Um, okay, anyways, if you see, there's two women, they're holding this, you know, it just looks like this powerful, um, creative, something in their hand that is birthing into reality here. So I get the sense for, for some of you, if you've been wanting to get pregnant, there is going to be maybe a new avenue, a new route for you guys to have that opportunity. I definitely see that for some of you. Um, and also because we have three of cups here. So this to me kind of represents, you know, two parents or two people coming together and having, you know, a baby. That's kind of what I'm getting here for some of you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I can't believe I jumped. Um, anyways, for others of you, um, if you guys have been waiting for, this could be in regards to a career because we have the card of abundance here. I'm also getting that whatever you guys have been working very hard on, again, persevering through all the challenges that this has, that you have faced in regards to this career, I do feel like you guys are going to have some sort of opportunity to create something bigger and better for yourself um, with the Three of Wands and the Three of Cups here. I'm also hearing from Spirit that some of you guys might even work together with other people other companies to make this possible like you might join forces um, create like an alliance with other companies to help you to reach this goal because I do see people coming together here you know I see it here I just see it here I just feel like there is going to be a bridge of I don't know I just feel like DNA like you know <laughs> I don't know why I'm just seeing it from spirit in my head um, Oh, also the DNA about fertility of like, you know, having babies, but that's kind of the two messages that I'm getting here. I'm getting um, those two different energies. Yeah, look at that. We have the chariot. So definitely there's going to be some sort of movement where you have felt stuck. And then look at this, you guys, six of cups and there's a little kid here. So a lot of you guys, if you've been wanting to get pregnant, I think there is a strong possibility that you are going to be put on a different path 
to maybe have you know the baby the child um, that you've been wanting here um, for some of you so that's the overall message that I'm getting here for you guys let's go ahead and get a couple more cards what's coming for pal three spirit what else do they need to know yes see mm-hmm this is popping out and I want this as well like I was saying in the beginning you guys have persevered it's been very challenging for you I think with this situation I think you guys have been putting in a lot of effort to make this happen to make your dreams come true it hasn't been easy you guys have had restless nights about it I do feel like there's calmer water up ahead for you guys and look at that the star healing energy definitely alignment to what is meant to be in your life and a wish obviously the star is about wishes coming true pile one had this as well you guys so that was your message pile number three i hope this resonates you guys let me know in the comments below give it a like share subscribe i'm almost to 2000 subscribers i will be giving away a free tarot reading once i reach 2k don't forget to check my free giveaway with calibrated chakras on my instagram luna goddess intuition you don't want to miss it it's a great giveaway and also, if you're interested in a personal reading, follow my Etsy link below, guys. I'm sending you lots of love and light. Take care, guys.